In this video, I started out with $0 in a truck and spent the last two years building the farm to where it is today. So we're back again for season three to see if we can expand the farm even more. So if you guys enjoy content like this and you want to see more, be sure to subscribe and drop a like helps too. Anyway, let's go do some farming. Well, boys, it's another day back out here on the farm. We got $4,334 in the bank account. We're looking pretty low here at the moment. At any rate, we've got all the hanging equipment ready to go to, uh, well, hopefully make some more money and not go completely broke. But right now, we're sitting fairly broke. Anyways, we've got a lot of hay bales back here that we've got to load up on the truck and hopefully sell and maybe trade some for uh, some silage for the cattle. Which, speaking of the cattle, I should probably go check on them. So hopefully the wheat field should be good to go here sooner than later. It's looking real good. We got it all sprayed out not too long ago, so uh, should be yielding pretty good by the time we get around to harvest. And I'd say the soybeans are looking even better. Also, I gotta go take the trailer that we borrowed from the uh, used equipment shop. Gotta take that thing back. All right, looks like the cattle still have water. They're good there. Yeah, I might put a little bit of hay in here. We got some, but... They can always use more. All right, looks like we got some milk in the milk tanks. Looks like the automated milker's doing his job. I'll give a call to the uh, milk truck driver, get him to come pick it up, and hopefully that'll be a little bit of money. Pull up here next to the bunk, and here we go. Is that all they needed? No capacity for hay. All right, that's all. Well, look who showed up. That didn't take long at all. I think he's just going to have to back in here or run a hose to the milk tank. I'm not sure how he does it. This is my first time getting milk taken out of here, so we'll figure it out. All right, he's all filled up, ready to go. He's got a couple more stops to make, but uh, as soon as he's done that, we should be getting paid. Oh, dang. Milk prices are actually pretty dang good. This one's on the down low a little bit, but uh, you know what? Not too bad. Okay, so we got the water tank hooked up here. We're just going to run and fill it up real quick. And while we're over at the neighbor's place, which is where we get our water from, I'll check on this field over there. Open that up. There we go. Well, that's filling. Just going to run over here real quick. Yeah, it's, it's looking pretty good, actually. All right, not too bad. Definitely gonna have to go through and pick up some rocks eventually, but uh, we should be good for this year. Man, this place needs some work. Just run down. All right, we'll drop this off. That cow might be drowning. Nope, nope, it's good. And we're gonna go run this trailer back. All right, made it back to the farm here. I'm just thinking if I should pick up the bales first or go make some more. I think we're gonna go make some more. How's the fuel level looking on our old swather here? Looking good. Or hay bond, I guess. Let's go make some more round bales of money. All right, so right now we're running the rough line of our property here. Just want to make sure we're not cutting anybody else's hay. I would not want to be doing that. And I think we kind of got up to this tree line here, and we turn. Turn again right here. Just trying to make sure we got a nice line going here. Turn again. All right, perfect. We're back to where we started. So this is the official line, and we've got a lot to cut. But more hay means more money. More money means uh, the farm does not go bankrupt. At least I hope not. I'm going to try to keep this in sort of-ish sections. If I can, that might make things just a little bit easier. And of course, nothing is going to go to waste here. We are cutting all of it. All right, so I have cut around every little place you could probably imagine. Got all around the trees, the sheds, barn, the fence. Everything has been done. We've actually got a good portion of it finished up here. Uh, but there's still a lot to go, but... I guess I forgot about some uh, big old branches that are kind of wreaking havoc on my haybine, which is not great. Also stumps. I'm going to have to get rid of those this winter if I can. So I got to clean these up before they wreak more havoc. Anyways, I'm not too sure with the current rake I have if I'm going to be able to rake this all up because there is a lot here. There's also a lot of deer. I prefer if they stop eating my hay. Also, with this much cut, I maybe want to get a tether so we can dry it out a little quicker. But at any rate, there is going to be a crap ton of bales out here. Like a lot. After getting back to cutting our new ginormous hay field, I came to a realization that there was no way in heck we were going to be able to rake this with the little rake we had. So after a couple phone calls, I managed to secure something that we would pick up later in the day. But for the time being, it was back to hay. All right, so big chunk done here. There's going to be a lot of hay in here. Still got a couple bits here and there, but uh, 
big chunk of it's done. So I'm just on the last pass of the field here. Looks like we just got paid from the milk, which was $2,468, I believe, which is pretty good. We've got a little bit of money in the bank account. Now, uh, I think everything's done here. We've got it all cut, which uh, there is a lot. Anyway, I'm going to get this thing back to the farm here, and we've got a piece of equipment to go pick up. Okay, so as you can see here, the rake that we have, it is way too small. Like, it ridiculously small. It ain't going to work. So here's what I figured out. I talked to a farmer down the road, and he's going to let me rent his rake, which is going to be plenty big enough for what we need to do for $800. I said we can have it for about a week here, but uh, I think we're only going to need it for about a day, so... We're just going to run down to his farm with the Ford here, and hopefully we can grab it. Now, I also talked to the guy at the used equipment dealer and said I was looking for a hay tether, and he's got one, and I think he might trade the rake for it, the current small one that we have. So eventually, when I have the money, we'll buy a bigger rake, but for now, we'll just rent one. Look what I got, Frontier Rake. This thing is going to be massive once you unfold it, but it should definitely work, I hope. I don't know if uh, my smaller John Deere is going to be able to run it, but we'll find out. Anyway, that's going to be minus $800 for us. Okay, I think we should be good here to run this. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. So eventually when we need the tether, we'll head on down to the used equipment store, do a little bit of a trade. So uh, I guess we won't have a, an actual rake that we own for a little while, but uh, the guy said we can rent this thing whenever we need. He doesn't have a whole lot of hay to do. He's kind of just one of those really, really rich guys that started a farm for fun, and uh, he does a little bit of hay each year. But really... He doesn't need this thing for too long, and I think he's already done his hang, so this works out good for us. All right, so when this thing unfolds, holy smokes. Yeah, this will work. I'm fairly certain. Oh, yeah, this is going to work great. Look how easy it is. If we were using that small rake, this would take us the rest of the day. Now, it should only take us maybe an hour or two, if that. Now, I hope hay prices are good when we go to sell all this, because if not, we're going to be in the red for sure. But grain prices are looking up, so maybe... Just maybe we can make ends meet. But by my rough calculations, this should be roughly $80,000 worth of hay. So if that's the case, it might just work. At any rate, we've extended all our fields, so it should be some big money there too. With the rake rental proving to be a good rental so far, it turned a job that should have took more than a day into just a couple of hours. And in turn, saved us both money and time. With the hay raking now done in record time, we headed back to the farm, detached the big rake, grabbed the smaller rake, and headed out to the used equipment dealer. And with the trade now made from our rake to a new to us hay tether, it was time to get back to work. All right, so I just made it back out here to the field. Now I'm gonna try out this hay tether here real quick. I need to unfold it, hold on. There we go, look at that. This is gonna dry out the uh, hay real fast. So it'll pretty much be ready to bail anytime we want. But the reason why I wanna dry it out faster is because there's so much here that if we let it get rained on, that's going to be a big hit to our profits. And frankly, we can't afford that right now. Plus, if the hay's dried out a little better, it brings a little more money. Alrighty, so I've pretty much cruised around everything here other than a couple of the big parts. But we're going to leave those till later. We got some other work to go do. But for now, it's all looking pretty good. I'm just going to park this right about here. Man, this thing's going to need a wash when we're all said and done here. I mean, probably everything will, but uh, the tractor's most. Anyway, there's bales out here to be loaded up. I'm going to keep a few of them. Not sure how many, probably like, I don't know, 10 or so. We'll keep a few of the uh, better hay bales there as well in the other field, and then the rest are getting sold. I think maybe another 10 or so are getting traded for silage bales. But all in all, not too bad. Anyways, hope you all enjoyed. Subscribe and goodbye.